Hello and welcome back to the outer worlds with yours truly, Lord Zinger the Mad. What is this marker? Oh, there are multiple markers. There are several red markers over there. The question is, where is over there? Be your fighter crew, your spacer, your Gladys. That's a sprat. Probably sprat this sprat I was overhearing. Okay, this place doesn't get a lot of uh, garbage cleaners, does it? You have a lot of company here. Probably can't rob you quite as quickly as I would like. What's that up there? Mock apple and cinnamon beauty basket. You ship beauty basket. You have a lot of beauty baskets. What are those beauty baskets for? Bless my heart. A stranger come knocking on a poor old woman's door. You here for a particular reason? Or did the neighbors tell you how good my sugar cookies are? Made without a single natural ingredient or an oven. Just like store bought. <laughs> Tinis sent me. He said you could sell me a nav key to Stellar Bay. Those have been the height of illegality since Stellar Bay turned their noses up at the board. You and I could be thrown to the void just for discussing such a transaction. Lucky for us, Groundbreaker's a free port. We're outside of the board's control. For the time being, at least. Now. I only have the one nav key, and they're hard to come by these days. It won't be cheap. If you find yourself lacking in the bits, I might have an opportunity you'd be interested in. Ooh, yes. Any chance of a discount since Phineas sent me? Phineas, that old kook. He was quite the dancer back in his prime, did he tell you? Real light on his feet. Real light in the wallet, too. He still owes me a small fortune. Laws. Maybe I should charge you double. No, that's... That's not necessary. Tell me about this opportunity. Well, I find I'm in need of a ship captain with a little... Moral flexibility. Might be this could help out the groundbreaker. As well as earn some bits. But if you've got qualms... No qualms here. Let's hear the details. Do you know Edna over in engineering? Sweet as a pea, that one. On occasion, she'll pass along transmissions I might find interesting. She sent me a recording of a distress signal she'd scraped from the Groundbreaker's comm array. Curious thing is, it came from an outpost called Roseway. And Auntie Cleo abandoned that place years ago. Why was Roseway abandoned? Can't say I know for sure. Maybe it never really was. Sounds like someone poking into somewhere they shouldn't be got into a spot of trouble. Comm centers don't operate themselves, Captain. Someone had to have sent that distress call manually. Those corps are cleverer than all get out. Might have been a ruse to keep the rest of the board from sniffing around. Can't be an automated message, can it? Edna didn't seem to think so, and I trust the dear girl's judgment. Well, maybe not in men, but she knows her comms. So, like as not... Someone's been down there recently. And if someone set up shop in Roseway, I'd wager they got something to hide. If it's a corporate town, will some if something to hide, why the SOS? Maybe whatever they're hiding went to heck, and now they need a few spare hands to clean up the mess. If you should find a secret worth selling, might be I could find a buyer. Corporate bigwigs will pay top bit for inside information on their competitors. The more we got the corpse fighting each other, the less time they got to meddle in our affairs. So you need to snoop, need to snoop around for you? My goodness, aren't you quick on the uptake? I like that. Should you find yourself responding to a certain distress call, and in so doing find yourself in possession of certain valuable corporate secrets, well, then we ought to have a chat over a pot of tea and my famous cookies. You can count on me. Law bless your atoms. Here's a copy of the SOS recording complete with the coordinates. Don't forget to come find old Gladys when you're done. I won't. 
Uh, let me see what you have for sale. I've got a lovely little throw pillow. Just something I toss together. Like to keep my hands busy. Hmm. What is this pistol? That is that is that is certainly a pistol. So Kratis ha probably has her own or is hers related to the groundbreaker? Hmm. Okay, I'm gonna grab these. I don't know what they are. The old data contains incident reports from various mod dead security patrols. Most are details of simple finds and dust ups between the crews of Wildcats, Creep Fighters, and Corporate Horrors. Two entries have been marked for later review. Uh, responded to code ID 10T at the Lost Hope, where I asked us to punch some back gray rat that got himself soaked in Spectrum Red. Drunken Fool got into a scuffle with uh, one of Engineer Denison's people. We tossed the run leech back down to the base. As for Fought us the entire way, telling us we'd be sorry once he controlled the hammer's power. If this is some new Hammersmith marketing stunt, I'm complaining to Sanita. Had another run-in with the run glitch from the Lost Hope. Don't know how the upbeat backer crawled out of the back base without us noticing. Locked himself in the, into the repair bay of Talking Strip 13 and refused to come out. Kept raving uh, about the weapon's codic beauty or some shit while we were trying to talk him about out. Had to break off when our shift ended. Hullhead's gonna, gonna come up eventually. Okay, so that's something for us to look into. Okay, right. This is a room we have been in. Hello, you are a name person. Now see here, I'm... What was I doing again? Damnable thing about living on a space station. No pigeons to feed. You could import some. Oh, you can feed the sprats, sure enough. But then the neighbors start moaning about hygiene. Oh, I'm sorry, was this your room? I'll just move along. Wait, this is almost certainly my room. That's my underwear on the floor. Damnable thing about living right, on yeah, space okay. station. No okay, so there's... The CAP fundables edibles? So they have the posts. They've got post. They got post. And Risa's self serve snack system has Ritzo and very pink outfitting. That's fine. Now, this is port approved, so it's just bullets and things. Okay, cool. Uh, I should look into those skill points that I have available. Uh, did I want to? What did I want to do? All of my stealth is nice at 50. Could do with some extra engineering, I believe. At least I like engineering. And if I like engineering, then that might be good for me. I'm also gonna move that to 40. Uh, I'm gonna move the termination to 20. I have four points remaining now. Which isn't gonna do me a lot of service, really. I'm gonna start putting these like just slowly growing up the other skills that I want. Except I don't know, like I know there's. I'm not going to be able to have everything, can I? Will I? No. Huh. Well, I will take this, because that's good. And soon we will be able to look at all these. Ooh. Nice. And apply that. Yes. Promoti. Let's look at what you get. Ooh. Melee damage, armor rating, range damage. Or increased chance of looting mods. I think so, yeah. And Vika, what do you have? 
Turn of combat effect duration. Sure, I'll take that as well. Okay, there's a door here that we have not explored. This is the public bathroom. Essentially. <gasps> Look at how wide that spread is. I guess it hasn't gotten any of a tan because we are off planet. That's fine. When might we expect you out here again? Can surfish is already sold out again. Who knows? Wait, All skill points spares. available? Back in Triangulum, there were hundreds of space Wait, hands. Do I have to hold that? I heard piracy was up somewhere around Halcyon, but I didn't think it was that bad. There we go. Oh, it's just a tap. Did I not confirm my skills? No, I did not. Okay. That's just typical, isn't it? Okay, well, from my understanding, it's actually... a lot of trouble to get the... Uh, All sorts of things working. Hmm. And if that's four points, I'm actually gonna put some into inspiration so we can get, uh, you know, some companion skills available next time in the future, like soon enough. Starvature in the sky, worst contact. Alright, so that's Scylla again. I'll, I'll go tell... Or has it been deader than usual around here? I'm gonna go and let Ellie know what I've done. Wish I could say it was good to see you, Ellie. At least you finally got your chance to square our debt. That ought to make you smile for once, huh? Nothing makes me happier than being even. Except being right, that's nice too. Hey. Got word from Udom, from the hitman who trailed me the other night. Seems I'm indentured to the board now. I ain't too elated about going exclusive, but it's better than winding up dead. You sure saved my skin, stranger. All debts between me and Ellie are cleared. Okay. Well, watch yourself while I'm gone. You? The good news came through the wireless. Looks like you paid my debt to Jesse. I guess that means I owe you now, right? Tell you what, I'm a little short on bits at the moment, but I'm a decent scrapper and a better than average sawbones. If you're looking for a medic, I can work my debt off. You really don't like owing people, do you? It's like people touching a cookie and leaving it in the box. It's just one of those things that gets under my skin. Are you saying you'll work for me just because I helped Jesse? If I'm being honest, and I prefer not to, I was about ready to pick up another contract anyway, and you settled this in a pretty tidy fashion, which tells me you're competent. But we can say I'm repaying the favor if you prefer that version. What exactly did Jessie do for you anyway? She helped me win a bet. What was the bet? We were on a smuggling run planet side when our point man bet me I couldn't outrun a mantisaur. And? And, as you can probably guess, the thing was faster than it looked. Probably would have caught me if Jesse hadn't picked it off. So she saved your life? Yeah, but the important thing is I won the bet. Welcome board, Ellie. You won't be sorry. Though it looks like you've got a full roster already. Time to play favorites, Captain. We can actually catch up with you on the ship later. Dr. Fenhill, glad you opted to join us. It'll be good to have a Sawbones on the crew. I just... I thought the speaker was there just a second ago. Well... Something on your mind? If we're going to work together, I'd like to know more about you. I'm a surgeon by training and a pirate by inclination. Not much else to know, Captain. I like long walks on the promenade and the smell of Spacer's Corona. I make a mean zero G cocktail and I've got a meaner right hook. What's a zero G cocktail? 
It's a mix of whatever you've got on hand. Usually zero G brew with some spectrum vodka if you're lucky. Purple berry shake if you're not. Inventive. I like it. I'll make you one sometime. If you don't enjoy it, I'll make a few more until you do. I don't really drink. Do you have much experience contacting out with other captains? Contracting even. Sure do. Some of it was even legal. You weren't joking about being a pirate. What gave it away? It's the hair, right? Or maybe the ammo belt? I had it custom made. Did you want to look like a pirate? Gotta advertise your business somehow. I've done all types of work with all kinds of crews. If there's one thing you ought to know about me, it's that I won't tell you your business. Your ship, your way. That sounds reasonable. Glad to hear it. It's worked for me this long. So, I was hoping to know something more personal about you. Well, my blood type is AB positive. I'm a Leo, and I despise Space Hospital. Never mind what anyone else tries to tell you. That about covers it. Where are you from? How'd you get into this line of work? Aw, oh, come on. That stuff's boring. Fair enough. Okay. Shall we get back to mischief or what? Yeah. No complaints here. We are going to go and do some mischief in the basement of the ship. Gonna go right down there, I think. At least that's my understanding of how this ship works. Okay, I want a happiness is a warm spaceship. That's what we want to look at. What's going on with you lately? You seem down. Uh, board patrol, Nick, Everyone is a pirate. If they know what's good for them. The addition to back base. No, oh, well, Captain McRed is already here. Hey, McRed, were you expecting any company? A neighbor from above approaches our realm. Back away now, or you'll parley with the king. No sudden movements. This guy's crazy, even by my standards. Do you want to talk? Hmm? Look at this ripe piece of meat just sizzling on the grill. <laughs> Yum, yum. Time to feed the flames. It's nothing personal. Promise. Burning to death is one of the most painful ways to go. Just in case you needed a reason to get us out of this. Is this what carbon monoxide poisoning looks like? I don't think this deck is too well ventilated. You came with the crew. Welcome. We got plenty of space to spread out, but only room for one captain. You're only getting out of this alive if you play nice. Ooh, look at the courage on this one. Lay it on me, boss. Give me a taste of that fiery primal spirit. There's a bounty on your head. I want to claim the reward. Listen to the fire of those convictions. This one's hungry for justice. Alive or dead? Rare or medium? What's it gonna be? How do you want me cooked, bounty hunter? No need for violence, give me your lighter and the bounce disappears. My flame? Shit. Little flick here got me started on the pyro path. Fine. He's yours. Give him a good home. Work smarter, not harder. Don't worry, Mr. McRed. We'll treat Mr. Flick extra nice on account of he's your friend. I'll miss my baby pyro, but it beats losing my head. This court needs its king. And I'm one of a kind. Wait, the engraving on here. Does this say Sunita on it? Keen eyes you got there. Sunita gave me this lighter. We had a carnal understanding a few years back. And she wanted me to have something to remember her by. There's something else. Lay it on me, boss. I'm good for it. How did you end up back up? Back here? Ship got impounded. The crew and I racked up a debt while we were grounded. And my baby got sold to Sublight. Scrapped for parts. That's bureaucracy for you. Piracy with a smile. Sounds a lot like what happened to me. Am I your dark reflection? Shit. Must be getting old. Stay here too long, and the groundbreaker drains you like a fuel tank. I'm here for some parts. Chen Lei sent me. That's right, sir. Just the parts. We'll be in and out in a jiff. You won't even know we were here. Tennyson just keeps feeding the furnace, don't she? 
We're still playing with her last sacrifice out back with the crew. What are you doing to this poor engineer? We were just sitting in a circle, sucking down exhaust fumes and toasting to the memory of our brain cells. Making this broken angel fly again. So can I grab this pot then? You don't just ask a king for a favor when you're standing in his court. You bring tribute, sacrifices, prophecy, shit like that. Those pots are leaking deadly toxins. I'll just come back after you're dead. Under its skin, this ship is all poison and darkness. Lead bones, asbestos muscle. Maybe you're right. You've got the run of the kingdom. Up those stairs, you'll find the parts. My crew won't get in your way. Good. Thanks, McGrath. That went a lot better than I expected. Something on your mind? I was sort of expecting to kill him. No. How are you doing? Uh, already? Something you need? No. I was just hoping you had something nice to tell me. Well. Oh, it is stealing. Oop. Nice and easy. So they're not fans of me just grabbing this stuff. I guess it would be different if we were on a full war buff. Who am I fighting? Who am I fighting? Oh, what? I thought we handled this peacefully, didn't we? Wait, that's the wrong one. I want to use the one that heals me. That's F. There we go. I thought we were doing this peacefully. We had run off the uh, ship and all that. Is that what they said? Smells kind of like old Mrs. Alpha vibes. Ugh. Did you see me steal something? Was that what happened? Did you get that automatic patch? I'm trying to it up and running. I'm trying to think of a good name before I wake it up. Don't give it a name. What are you thinking? Hasn't got a heart? Oh my God. I can take a hint. Who's taking whose hits? Hints. Did you see me do that? Something wrong? Your aura is like a disco ball caught in a black hole. Nice. That sounds like a pretty good aura. Open on so that one. So this is like there's a fair bit of people to fight if I manage to anger them again. They're trying to steal all their shit again. Red gave me a taste of the good stuff. I've been tripping for days. Careful with that shit. I'll end up as crazy as he is. So cozy. What did we run into that's so cozy? That's fine. Alright, so I know Ellie likes handguns. I have seen I've seen the uh, Tim Sterling's view of the game and I know Ellie is very much a gunslinger. Resort, fans, hammers, and all that. If I actually have the abilities to direct her to do that, Hi. Do you got any anything? Ooh, may I take PT? Does any of you mind if I take PT? You're hey. the first person I've seen who talked their way past McRed. It may not sound like much, but take my word for it. Wow. What brings you to the back base? 
June Lay sent me down to collect the parts we need to fix the radiators. McRed got me all distracted sucking fumes and <laughs> talking about the cosmos. Just take some level head for the hangover. And maybe don't work on anything life support related for a while. I can't tell if you brought friends or if I'm still seeing things, so maybe I ought to lay off the fumes and head back to work. I came to grab some radiator parts. Engineer could use your help installing them. I'll get back to my post. See you topside, stranger. So how did they not kill you? Shh. Be very, very quiet. Ooh. Very, very quiet. Nothing wrong here. Everything is above board. No. No one's actually taking... No one's working with the board. I want to take PT. Will you kill me if I take PT? Hey, what's up? What do you think you're doing? Nothing at all. All right, fine. Get out of here. I just found PT. Uh, what is PT? PT is <gasps> a bite-sized guardian. Dun, dun, dun. It's fucking hell. Nifty is what it is. I hope you don't mind me stealing PT. So it depends on what I steal, whether or not they decide to. Immediately come for me, I guess. Do I want more MacPicks? I probably do. There's always things that require me to use more MacPicks. Is that a mm, just an assault I rifle? Guess on. We got another complaint. People don't like worms. They're just tilling the soil. Besides, they're my friends. Find a new friend. This worm fixation is screwing with her bottom line. The back bays are all the home we have, and the only home we need. Cool. Oh, are oh, that's. Oh, I see. Like that. Those are the actual drones, while BT is a small baby drone. When I settled on Groundbreaker, I thought this would be my gateway to the stars, not beginning of my epic tale as a spacer. Now I grow shrooms for... Wait, that this would be my gateway to stars, the beginning of my epic tale as a, as a spacer. I read it not, not from here, because of a slight diagonal reading. Now I grow shrooms for a bunch of outlaws, not even for selling. This is teeter down things by the handful. Some of the crew have been dripping for weeks. Suppose it could be worse. Heard of a sublight contractor who got dissolved in free chemicals and flushed down waste treatment for stealing from Ilya. Now Macred, he's always happy to see me, calls me his fungus lad. Macred just sent a man on fire for having his laces undone. Shit, 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 maybe I need to be more careful about what I'm growing. I want to find something that calms him down. Time to experiment. So someone here is putting in the effort to make sure Macred is a little bit calmer. That's good. And baby Byra will go home. To mommy. That's also good. Oh, there's a ladder. Let's take a look. Might take me to the exact same room as that does, but I can't be sure, can I? This place is falling apart. Can't spell groundbreaker without Oh, wait. <laughs> Are you one of us yet? Nah, nah. I, I don't have long enough to spend here. To become one of you. I apparently need to go and get the hope. Functional or something. What do you say we get out of here before we join whoever that was on the grill? There's a person on the grill? Where? Also, the vermin. Hey, uh, tell me, what sort of toys are you playing with right now? You have a pistol like that. The vermin.
is slightly more powerful at the moment. But I don't know for sure. But it has like a, it has a name. And this is heavy ammo, but I mean if you're an NPC, you don't care. Right? Okay, so my understanding is we should have everything we need from down here. Have a good one, Rekred. Where's the griddle? Where is the griddle? Bye, Macred. Okay. Well, if we need anything else from here, we can just come back. Okay. This just points me correct, right at the correct door immediately. Ooh, what's this? This is just take down things. Don't mind if I do. Oh, right, and I want to read the terminal. Don't mind me, I'm just here to use the terminal. Daily checklist. Radiator damp, plumbing overflow, life support, crew morale, scheduled landings, checklist maintenance, press stiff. You can do this. I believe in you. Back base. More complaints about the state of the bay. Already don't the modets. They're free to flash out. McRed and his outlaws. There's another top seeking barons and paper justifications that they want someone else to solve all their problems off the record. Sorry boys, not my job. Morel has tipped 18% since Martin Gallahan showed up. It's that damn mask. Found another listening device in my office. Thing was the size of a dust board with a cord leading all the way back to sublight. Sublight is always an alien. Could have soon that the mechanical chef arrived with a company deck. No record of that guy leaving the station. We'll have to look into it. Spread infestation at the rest and go is getting out of hand. Yet for better not be ranching those critters again. Or as well by law I'll air airlock her stall. Turn to root. Messages. My dear lady, the implications of your accusations cause my breath to hitch in my throat. I am certain that we can arrive at an agreeable understanding for what is a board liaison, if not the facilitator of handshakes between great powers, much like the board and yourself. When you decide to return to the negotiations table, consider once again the embassy expansions, expansion plans I laid out. Gestures of good faith do not go underpaid. The board rejected my request for new radiator parts again, uh, even after I agreed to reveal with some dark detonations. Funny thing, when I use my admin privileges to survey the outcome comes, I notice some activity from your office. You chose your words carefully, but I plucked the juicy phrase from the grand script. Let the frog boil a while longer, and now I have no, and now I have no radiator parts. You're playing with our lives. Did I install you on my ship just to get under my skin, or just pulling this shit for fun? Ah, uh, this is like a reply. Yeah. But did I check the rest of it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey. You've returned, and in one piece. Color me impressed. I got the parts for the radiator. That's what now. Good work. I'll take those. I need you to head through the large door at the far end of engineering. Take the elevator down into the machinery shaft. There's a terminal in the back. Activate it when I call over the ship's PA. And bring weapons. There's a slight manticore infestation. Define slight? More than a few. Less than a hive. Nothing you can't handle. We were salvaging parts from a ship. Turned out there were eggs inside. They got into the radiators and here we are. Ah. I got your parts, why do I have to go to some maintenance shaft? If every repair was a one-woman job, I wouldn't need an engineering team. As it is, my staff is busy keeping the station from melting down. You can flip a switch for me, but you can't install these parts. Not quickly, at least. Not on the first try. Able, though, you've proven to be. I'll make my way down Don't worry, Miss Junlei. We'll be super gentle with the ship. You don't got a thing to worry about. I mean, aside from fires and such. I'm genuinely heartened to hear that. Thank you. Aww. Uh, they're getting along well. But now, I have to run. I'm too afraid. What do you mean it's not paused? I thought it was paused. There's still one. Just some. Hey, Sunita, I got you something. How goes the hunt? I've been ruminating on it, and I decided if you ain't killed McRed yet, I want you to hurt him a little before you do. 
Nothing excessive, mind you. But the scoundrel deserves a light beating at least before he kicks off. Does this have anything to do with your carnal understanding? He tell you that, did he? I might have kicked his ass from one end of the groundbreaker to the other a few years back. Whatever he reads into that is his business. Well, Captain McCrate is completely dead. He is his lucky lighter as proof. Here's the bounty payout. Nice work down there. With any luck, we can hire more sharp-eyed bounty hunters like you in the future. I'll be on my way. And if you ever need me, I'm actually dead. Just let me know and I'll go kill him. That's how you get more money out of a deal. <laughs> or, well, that might just make people not love me that much. Yeah. Front breaker are now agreeable. Good. And I have lost my great slider. Mm, I have never met this man in my life. Okay, at the far end of engineering, so I guess this is this door has now been unsealed for me, so I can take the elevator. So Barvati, how do how do you like Chuni? Uh huh. Most people do. Archived logs and transmissions. Arrival confirmation to HHP of HQ transmitted my probe archived at source. It is my report to honor. It is my <laughs> honor to report that Grant Baker has successfully arrived at the La La Range point, having released a cargo of prefab housing, settlers, and supplies at their intended colony worlds. May they prosper and expand. Now that the stages 1 and 2 of the mission have been carried out, my family will take ownership of the ground breaker as specified in our contract, keeping the ship in active duty as an independent trading post, repair stop and cargo bay. I'd be remiss if I closed this transmission without sending my hopes and best wishes back to Earth. There's so much ahead of us and we'll never forget what we left behind. Some very rich and unsavory elements among our colonial neighbors seem to have the wrong idea about why I flew us out here. I wasn't for, it wasn't for a 9 figure blood money salary and the Space's Choice logo stamped on my ass. It wasn't to nickel and time bashing ships out of their last pit. Crownbreaker has no role in the success or failure of Halcyon's corporate entities, period. I negotiated that understanding and clearly outlined it in writing before I ever set foot on this ship. If anyone wants to dispute or compromise our independence, they will answer to a Tennyson. Your family operation, even when the last Tennyson fa falls, Crownbreaker will remember us and defend its freedom accordingly. Time to root, and that's all. Nice okay. And easy. But I know some bugs seem to be aware of us. Oh, that's Parvati, that's not a bug. Okay, there's another. S oh, there's an upstairs bit. Is there? Oh, right. Don't stand in the radiators. That's bad for your health. Take a look around this radiator mess before because I am the sort of person who needs to loot everything. Even if it means breaking a few legs, I will loot everything. So there's babies, ba like baby swarm uh, mantises, and there's mantipillars which become, I assume, bigger mantipillars. Or maybe not. I don't suppose you have a queen problem yet. I hope you don't have a queen problem yet. Because my last few experiences here seem to have pointed that uh, I keep dying if I get into big fights. Maybe that's because I keep misunderstanding that I'm in a fight. Maybe the case. 
Yeah. So we were told that there's the rats, was it? I want to take a look at this one. It might offer me to play around. And here's a dead man killer. But I most certainly have not killed. But I do not see its killer anywhere around. So that's interesting. What were we supposed to keep an eye out for? Where is your dirty friends? Or mechanical friends or what have you? The looks of it, not upstairs. Okay. What were we supposed to be sneaking around? I have the parts in position on my side. Go ahead and cycle the droplet pumps. Locks. Cobble together. The stuff is getting restless, workarounds and half-cocked solutions are all we've got to mend the groundbreaker's bones. In many cases we can't revive one system without cannibalizing another. Grandma lives with that reality and so will I. I can rally our spirit so that happens when I'm not around. Groundbreaker's real test will be seeing if our independence outlasts me. I'll take that bet. Found some chief uh, Kaijing's old uh, schematics. Groundbreaker must have taken a beating turn into crossing because she spent half of her career bashing it up. A lot of corners cut when they put this place together. Among her papers I also found a layout of a hangar that doesn't match any of my talks. Something that might have gotten sealed along the way, like blood cells also having an infection. I had to hate to put sentiment down in print, but every time I open a panel or find some work around in the guts of this old world, it's like I can feel you reaching out to me from the past, Grandma. Aww. Reminder, non-expendable personnel must exit the maintenance Shaft before activating the cycling protocol. Cycling successful. Shaft. The temperatures are dropping. Stop by once you found your way out of there. Groundbreaker owes you things. Yeah. Well, I still don't know what I'm supposed to be keeping my out for. Thought there was something that was supposed to be threatening my life. Also, 100% did not realize that that door was part. I just wanted to look at the other way first. Look for loot. You know, just explore around. Come on, do the Mass Effect chatting thing where you speak, talking in a car. Oh. Okay. Like the first one, they always talked in the elevators. It's good fun. I suppose it's time to reevaluate my career goals. Temps are lowering across the station. Anyone outside is getting a hell of a light show from the droplet arrays. Ooh. Thanks for the help. Let me know if you ever need to borrow a wrench or something. Of course. Repairs are holding just fine. Oh, that was. Bit of a spike there. Which I did not expect. This is Halcyon News. We interrupt your is this the same story again? Hey, Edna. I think I heard Chief Junlei looking for you. You better go find her real quick, like because she's not the most patient person. Is this about the fact that I looted your room? My boards are returning to green. What a weight that is off my shoulders. I don't normally tolerate outsiders mucking about in my station's guts, but you're all right. The temperature should be dropping as we speak. I'll see to it the crew knows who kept us all from boiling alive. If you've got time, I believe Edna has a comms issue that could use your attention. I've also authorized Doc and Furu to sell you our premium meds. Oh, thank you. Doom, 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 doom. We are leveling up again. Mm. What was I putting my points in? I wanted that inspiration, so that's that's certainly going to take a point. Medical science engineering. Of picking sneaking. Hmm. I sort of want to have all my 
conversational skills quite well high. No? Because they talk a lot. Talking happens a lot. Okay, C and V can be used to use companion abilities. Oh, so you have your perks. Okay, well, that sounds handy, but I don't have that particular level yet, but, you know. It still sounds handy, so when you do get that level, we will certainly look at that. Hey. You aiming to send a message? If so, we best do it now while we still got time. And no, Ellie, that offer does not extend to you broadcasting another of your crude jokes. Hey, that's a real planet, and no one's seen it in a long time. Damn it, Ellie, I don't have time for your shenanigans. Anyway, like I was saying, you aiming to send a message, you better be quick. Is that what you do for Grand Breaker, relay messages? Well, yeah. The comm center routes all messages within, to, and from the Ground Breaker. We also switchboard most of the message traffic throughout the Halcyon system. Of course, we're about to go dead, so I may be reappropriated to Architect Knows Where doing Law Knows What soon enough. Why are you about to lose combat capabilities? Our primary relay station soon to be occluded by a gas giant. Happens every 40 years or thereabouts. The events forecasted to last for months, during which we'll lose signal to the station. That'll put the whole system in a right dire situation. We've got backup auxiliary relays, but the one currently in orbital range went offline some months ago. We can't spare people for routine maintenance. How are you got out off by losing one relay station? Well, we wouldn't be utterly and completely blacked out, but we'd lose the majority of our comm traffic for sure. Ships and colonies on Terra 2 need a clear line from their communications towers to the Groundbreaker for the transmissions to make it through. If it's not clear, they transmit to the closest relay station which stores the message, then passes it along when our orbits align. What about the other auxiliary relay stations? The others won't be in orbital range during the occlusion event. Isn't it some law of the universe? The relay I gotta rely on is, of course, the one on the fritz. Can't ships relay messages to each other? That they can and they do. But only between ships owned by the same corporation. No corp will authorize sending messages through a ship owned by a rival. And no corp will relay messages for the Wildcat freighters. Not without charging them more than they'll make in a single haul anyway. That's why we're the message hub. The Groundbreaker's neither corporate owned nor board controlled. Our comms are neutral. Can't the board handle the messages? Sure. I mean, they got their own relays and all, but they'll only send along messages the corporations pay for. And then they charge folks to send messages back, often more than they can afford. And none of that money goes to the Groundbreaker. Just tightens the board's grip on our throat. Fuck the board. Maybe they're good to their people, I can't rightly say. But they're no good for us, not for Groundbreaker. Sounds like it's time to get the auxiliary station back online. Yeah, I'm working on it. I finally got the chief to approve the budget for a diagnostic expedition. But allocating the personnel loss for sending a technical team to the relay station keeps getting denied by Junlei. Um, the chief. I would check out the relay. No need for official sign-off in that case. I should say no, but why not? Maybe you can figure out why it's offline. I'll send you with an equipment manual. Hopefully we'll get lucky, or I'll get my approval in time. Hope you don't mind if I borrow that manual when you're done with it, Captain. I could do with some leisure reading. Oh, and I'll need you to retrieve a copy of the relay's backup data. I gotta forward any messages from Earth stored in the memory. Better late than never, eh? You just had messages from Earth sit in memory on an orbiter relay? It's not like they're in high demand. Most tend to be adverts on new products, meaning only folks in Byzantium can afford them. I'm sure the station's got a stack of junk messages just waiting for me to sort through. I'm off. Thanks for that. Okay, so, journal, what do we have here? Uh, show me what we have here. Solution vital. And celebration in the sky, so... 
we have the option to go and talk to but we were told not to go in here so ah, take a look the legitimate smuggling business you is reckon we can shop here or is it all spoke for messages from El Hagen subject don't run you lost another contractor to a UDL's gunship. This is your daily reminder that legitimate businesses don't run from the authorities. And that is what we are. Stay calm, present your papers, and if you get tangled up in the courts, I will personally bail you out. Anyone seen Hawthorne lately? I could use some reliable help. Unlike most of his rats, Catherine needs bringing supply, sublight as a consistent income. From the day until I say so, you are to treat her as an extension of my desk. Speaking of which, Tobias, order an extension for my desk. <laughs> for book shipment. Purple and berry liquor, lot spectrum vodka, even more than that. Erotica generic, the locals aren't picky. Erotica exotic, except for the ones who are. A space cake surprise, I didn't know what this is, but it was on last month's, month's order list, so either track some down or do your best in the kitchen. Black hole, hole comes, signed the spoke poster. P.S. Tobias, where are we with that desk extension? It's the same email. My scanner says to my dad seemed part of the freelancer ship after the captain misbehaved. The crew dropped so many bits at various places that they can't afford to lift the inbound. Whoever gets me salvage rights gets to sit quietly in my office and watch your professional work. One of ours had an altercation with one of theirs, lost another contractor, scrapped the ship, dedicated a tenth of the salvage to funeral expenses. I take care of my people. A little sprat told me that the great spoiled sister pork ended up at the bottom of a monarch canyon. Let's see how much we can sell. Speaking of which, no one can eat uh, at Auntie Cleo's stall until I say so. Something in the kitchen has gone bad. Yeah, that's the that's the technician. Uh, the next time one of us finds an abandoned ship and decommissions it, they had better dispatch a ground team to the debris field before the marauders have their turn. Just because we salvages doesn't mean we have to be scavengers. Return to root. Exit. Hello. Salvage is a family business. We've got each other's backs. Hmm, good. So I'm here to see if anyone here has a long, long desk. Miss Ellie, or uh, Doctor, then help. I noticed your pistol's been. What are you talking about? I oil it every night. Well, look here. Your slide's not recoiling fully. You might be due for a new spring. I could take a look. Maybe fix it for you. Uh, sure. I'm short on bits at the moment, but. I'll pay you back. Oh, no. I mean, it don't cost nothing. I got a spare spring in my pocket here, even. Everything's got a price. Maybe. Hey, mind if I just walk in, or do you want me to walk, talk to you first? Welcome to Sublight Salvage and Shipping, a legitimate business for legitimate consumers. Sounds you legitimate. The flying the unreliable? How'd you know? Money. We got it. The Steve doors want it. I'll take that as a yes. Miss Lily has been expecting you. I'll unlock the door. Hey, Doc Fenhill. Glad to see you ain't moved on from Groundbreaker yet. Hey, Tobias. How's the leg? Good as you left it, ma'am. Still bends and everything. You two know each other? Took some extra lead while I was on a job. Ellie here patching me up good. The other guy thought his ship was perfectly operational. I told him it was salvage. We disagreed. I won. Workplace hazards, Captain. Pretty routine around here. So you're a sublight on play? Sure am. A few years back, they got me started on simple acquisitions. You know those latches they put on cargo bays ain't worth a damn? These days, I stick to HQ and look after Miss Lilia. She's good. So that's the lady I need to talk to. Ooh. Your balcony is very under equipped. Also, I feel like I can't just pick this lock without anyone seeing. Are you okay? All right. Got any leads on salvage? Yeah, it doesn't even it's all right. Let's just close the door, that's fine. Yeah, 
like that, but stamped. That's not very, very impressive. And of course a baked apple. Maybe a mock, but it's fine. And I'd also like to take the shower, but I'm not afford. I'm can't afford. It. I'm afraid. Okay, talk to me. So you're the new captain in town. I was hoping you'd make your way to my office. Saves me the work of hunting you down. Lilia Hagen, CEO and executive director of Aggressive Operations. I'm guessing you already know about Sublight, otherwise you wouldn't have come. And Captain Horton, the proud owner of Turner Reliable. A little advice. Before you start telling lies, get a feel for who you're talking to. It's nice to see the unreliable again. A useful ship. Hawthorne was my contractor. I'd recognize that leaky boat of his anywhere. I I did. Don't Ada, Ada hear you calling her ship names? Is Ada still at the helm? I don't know how many times I told Hawthorne to restore that smartass to factory settings. I have a salvage job for someone light on corporate ties with a reliable set of wings. But there's a catch. Wouldn't be much fun without one. If you have a nav key to Stellar Bay, the job's yours. Interested? What's so special about Stellar Bay? First, an embargo that's been active ever since the board pulled its forces off world. Few regulations, plenty of freedom. And second, all the goodies that no one had time to pack. I don't have a nav key, but can I still take the job? I like that initiative, but ease back on the throttle. Gladys at the rest and go might have what you need. If there's anything else, be quick about it. Time is bits. I think it's sublight isn't strictly a service operation. These days, the scrap business all but runs itself. Gives me the time to expand our interests into other sectors, where I can let my hair down. What kinds of other question sectors does Sublight pursue other than salvage and shipping? Our field is persuasive acquisitions. At least that's how my legal advisors tell me to phrase it. Not all of our salvage is abandoned when we find it. Sometimes it takes a polite conversation and a shot across the bow. You know, legal formalities. So you're a company of bureaucratic pirates. Your words, not mine. How organized is this business? Very. I have this thing about numbers in spreadsheets. Grids in general. I like to think of myself as the last honest businesswoman in Halcyon, but I'll settle for being the most organized one. Did you get your desk uh, extension? You're very honest about sublight criminal side. Hey, careful with the C word around here. I like to keep things above board. And that kind of talk only makes trouble. Sublight occupies a legal blind spot. No one knows what we're licensed to do, and that gives our little business some freedom. But let's not tempt fate. Back to my other questions? Ask. I have nothing to hide. I'm leaving. Be seeing you. Make sure you aren't followed on your way out. By your people? Contractors, if the authorities are on your heels, our legal team has pre-approved you to recite this passage from our colonial trading rights. Pursuant to regulations following internal preserved posts, such as business entity will therefore be entitled to gather, maintain, and ultimately dispose of the commissioned agricultural hardware and accessories for profit or convenience. The short version, if we handle potted meat, we can legally sell extractors and tractor parts. That's why I keep a can of posts in a sublight owned safe deposit box of world. And why the goods you bring in are catalogued as farm equipment. Everything we do is perfectly legal. Now go bring home some bacon. I see. You take really good care of your pistol, Dr. Fenhill. I oughta. It's kept me alive this long. It's a brand new pistol, I, mean, I just you gave treat it to you. It nice. Makes me happy to see, because I feel the same way about my wrench. Look, it's a tool that does a job. Feelings got nothing to do with it. <laughs> All right. Well, back to space. <gasps> they have chicken. Just the claim to have chicken. 
Did they actually have chicken? If it Suck isn't the it, you can do it. What can I do for you? I see you around. Be seeing you. Thank you for your time. And your money. I didn't actually take any of his money, did I? Heard from the lasses down on 22 that you did a contract. Only one, a legit haul. Smashed up a freighter out in the Charybdis belt. What makes a whole legit and what makes it not legit? Ah, oh, Felix is here. Second? I see you brought your stuff. Fancy running into you again. Don't mind me. It's just admiring your ship from up close. Gotta hand it to you, boss. That's a fine looking ship. Only thing it's missing is me. You're pretty eager to draw in with somebody you barely know. Yes, I absolutely am. Just give me a shot. That's all I'm asking. I could be the best damn crew you ever hired. All right, Felix, tell me why I should hire you. You're serious. You're giving me a shot. All right. Uh, hang on. Hang on. I put together a little speech, just in case you asked. Hey there. I'm Felix Millstone. I have prepared a list of reasons why I believe you should hire me to join the crew of your ship and or outlaw gang. <laughs> I'm enjoying this. Go on. Firstly, I am highly personable. And I get along well with anyone who is not of the jackass persuasion. <laughs> Sorry. He's funny. Uh, secondly, I can be counted on in the event of a firefight, standoff, and or raid. My motto is, if you need a steady gun hand, I'm your man. That motto is a, it's a work in progress. Additionally... I have several years of experience as a box hauler. This skill may come in handy if you need a body dragged away or a door held open while escaping enemy fire. In conclusion, thank you for considering me for your ship crew and or outlaw gang. I look forward to our adventures together. I thought that was real good, Felix. Thanks for the vote of confidence. What do you think? Am I in? Not likes you. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, dragging off bodies, shootouts, the hell kind of ship do you think I'm running? The fun kind? I mean, what else do you do when you got a ship of your own? <laughs> Good answer, welcome aboard. Wow. <laughs> you don't know how long I've been waiting to hear that. Thanks, boss. You're not gonna regret this. I hope you enjoyed, uh... I'll just gather my personals and meet you on board. This is gonna be great. You got a crew now, Felix. Let's go back to the ship. Crew members Ellie and Max are engaged in a heated discussion in the kitchen. Ooh. I would certainly be interested in looking at that. Hey, Barati, what's, what's you up to? Hey, Captain. Can I get your temperature on something real quick? Sure. So, June Lei and I have been talking some. Through messages? I got him here on my data pad, and well, she sent me a poem. One she wrote her own self, I'm pretty sure. I don't know if I should read into it, because poems are all symbolic and such, right? It's not so good, but real sweet. Comes from the heart, you'd say? Oh, law. That's what's got me spooked. I don't rightly know. It's about this engine that's been shaking itself apart. Then this lady mechanic comes by and lays one hand on it. The trouble goes away. It sings. I don't want to get too hopeful, but I'm wondering if maybe she's the engine and I'm the lady? It's a real romantic poem. It made my chest hurt, kinda. Sounds like, like she likes you. I don't know where it's leading yet or if I'm misinterpreting. I'm not much interested in physical stuff. Never have been. Leastways, not like other folks seem to be. It's not that I can't. I just don't care for it. It's been a problem in the past. The folk who wanted to be with me back in the Vale, they didn't... They said I was cold. 
You're about the warmest person I've ever met. To hell with them. Thanks, Captain. That makes me feel a touch better. I actually had another message from Junlei. I just couldn't work up the courage to open it. But I'm gonna change that. Right now. Okay. Here we go. Let's see here. Talking about old friends. Got to thinking... Isabel? Who's... Who's Isabel? Everything okay? They were... Close, Captain. Like, more than friends close. They were close? Not anymore? I don't know. June Lei talked about them like it was past, but how far in the past? Ten years? Last week? Captain, I'm feeling all mixed up right now. Could we maybe head to the Groundbreaker? Get some drinks at that bar there? Lost Hope? You said you don't drink. Will you be alright? If you're there, I'm sure things will be okay. Like, I mean, you wouldn't let nothing bad happen to me, right? Thanks for asking, by the by. It means something to know you're looking out. Yeah. No. Yeah, so this is my hiding spot now. I was looking for a place that was quiet. I figured the kitchen would be louder than the hold, so here I am. Cozy-like, ain't it? Yeah. What do you think of the ship? That's in pretty good shape, considering how hard Mr. Hawthorne ran it. It's a Yakita LHA-120, A2 model, I'm pretty sure. The Block 2 design scooshed in extra cargo space, but didn't change the stock engines. Probably a touch underpowered, huh? Accurate in all particulars. I conclude you are Edgewater's board-certified mechanic. Apparently, this is the one who actually flies the ship. Fly-by-wire is pretty normal. Or at least ways that's what I read in the trades. I've never been on a real ship before. Hello! I am not a board-certified mechanic, but my dad was. He taught me all he knew. Do you understand? Speech recognition is one of the many skills I have been programmed to simulate. You're not simulating it, you're doing it! I asked a question and you answered it. I am gratified you consider this facsimile convincing. Either Parvati will be fixing you from now on, I expect your full cooperation. I am at your disposal, Ms. Parvati. You will find the technical schematics in the engineer's locker. Though I'm afraid Captain Hawthorne has lost the owner's manual. I don't see any holes in the hull. I'll take a good squint at her, make sure everything's tip-top. But I think we're cooking with plasma torches. You can do that, you know. My dad taught me how to make grilled cheese sandwiches with a plasma torch. Did you learn your trade from your father? It sounded like it when you talked to Reed. Mostly, yeah. I lived in the maintenance office near all my life. Mr. Thompson never let me forget how funny that was. You worked beside your father your whole life? Except for my schooling years, I was always beside him. Or tied to him. He used to carry me about in a sling when I was real little. When I got older, he sent me to sorting tools and parts while he worked. Later, he taught me simple fixes like busted crate latches. Did your dad ever broken spaceships? Not on the regular. Once in a great long while, a Saltuna boat would break down on the pad. He'd always bring me along for those. Mostly, he did the same as me. Kept Bess, I, I mean, the, the cannery, running. Turned loaders, plumbing and electricity, some plastering. I never got the hand of that. I don't see the humor. He meant funny as in odd. It's not normal for anyone to do as their parents. You take a vocational test. That decides your schooling and your career. When I tested out for maintenance, everyone figured it was on account of my dad. They were real unhappy with us. One aptitude tested them in your whole life? Well, they're powerful good tests. They rattled off this whole list of names who'd worked on them, with fancy bits hanging off them. Doctors and Esquires and the Thirds. Even if you don't believe they actually catch what everybody's best at, everybody's got to take them. So at least it's fair-ish. But you're actually, but you actually are good at this, and you enjoy it. Well, I'm good at making things work the way they ought. Not so much at doing such to somebody else's schedule. There's times I'm working deep in the guts of a loader, getting it all running perfect. Then I look up to see it's tomorrow, and I've blown another deadline. Anyhow, I, I was happy to get back home. 
I didn't care much for schooling. After school, you moved straight back to Ashford? Yep, nothing much had changed. Everything was a little grayer, a little dirtier. Dad met me at the shuttle and gave me a big old hug. I noticed straight away that he was moving slower and stiffer. He made a little grunt when I squeezed. Did you get much time with him after you got back from school? About a year. I tried to do more of the work so he could rest. His heart gave him pains. Dad never said that he loved me, you know? I, I knew on account of him showing it. How he'd stay up late to help with my projects or listen to my fretting. Oh gosh, <laughs> look at the time. Sorry to bend your ear so long. And I got so much to do before this ship's in decent shape. Take him over. Well, uh, I, I agree with for what you look at the time. <laughs> I'm gonna see you all next time. Yeah, then we will go to the kitchen and talk about that. And we'll also check in with uh, Parvati at the Groundbreaker again. Because... Of course we will. We want Parvati to be happy. Parvati is good to us. And so we will be good to her. Yeah. Bye bye.